video I will be trying on and reviewing swimwear and clothing from a brand called Blooming Jelly. Blooming Jelly is an online shopping website that contacted me asking if I would like to try on some of their pieces and they said yeah of course why not because that's more clothes that I can review to you guys and this video is not sponsored. I am allowed to say whatever I want about these pieces and I will be 100% honest and transparent in how I feel. So when the company contacted me, I went onto their website and I noticed that they have a lot of different swimsuit bikinis and that's what I wanted to mainly base this video about. So I ordered four bikinis from them, but as well as bikinis, they also have clothes and accessories. So they have different tops and dresses and formal wear. So I also ordered one top from them. So I got four bikinis, one top to review for you guys. And I haven't tried any of these pieces on yet. I haven't even opened my package. I just opened the outer package to know what parcel it was. Then I realized it was from Blooming Jelly. So I haven't actually opened any of the bags yet. So I'm going to open everything on camera, give you my first impression and I'm going to try each piece on, show you how it looks and then tell you how I like it, whether I like it, whether I don't like it. So that's the plan. Everything from Blooming Jelly came in these individual packages, which I love because first of all, it's so easy to see that I got five pieces. So there's nothing missing from my order. Also, I love to reuse these whenever I travel with my bikinis or underwear or any cosmetics. I actually love to pack them in these little plastic bags. I never actually get rid of the packaging, but yeah, it all comes individually packaged, which is great. I ordered everything in the size small, which was their smallest size. They didn't have extra small on the website as far as I can remember. So I ordered everything in the size small and this first swimsuit seemed like their signature swimsuit. It was on their homepage on the website and as soon as I looked at it, I kind of knew I really wanted to have it. So it looks like this. This has padding, it has beautiful crochet and comes with a little thing that you tie around your neck at the back like this. But let me try it on and see how I feel. I think the crochet definitely does overwork. It makes it so eye-catching and beautiful. And yeah, I definitely feel like a lot of people would like it. It's also kind of a perfect size for me. This is a size small. I'm usually an extra small to a small. And the quality is very, very nice of this one. So yeah, I would highly recommend it. If you like the look of it, you shouldn't be disappointed with the quality. Next, let's try on this one. I can't even remember how this one looks. The only one I remember is the previous one that I showed you. All the other ones, I actually don't remember how they look. This seems very long, but it might be just because of the frills. I'm not sure. And this probably goes over your neck like so. And then you have your frilly bikini. So it's like a green tropical rainforest print. So let me try this on. This comes with padding. I don't wear bikinis that are not padded. I just don't think they look nice on my figure, but these are padded, which is great. I feel like by looking at the website, they don't actually look as nice as they look in real life, but in real life, it's so much more than I thought it would be. When it comes to the quality, I mean, you can have a look for yourself. I can't see any threads. So far, this is my favorite. Next, we have another tropical rainforest style bikini. And again, I have no idea how this one looks. And let's see, is this a one? Yeah, this is a one piece again. And it looks like this. Right off the bat, 
I don't know if this is not going to be too large on me. I don't know if I like this shape, to be honest. Seems like a very simple cut, high neck, so you tie it around your neck like this. Let's try this on and see if it fits me. So this swimwear is ever so slightly too large on me around the top part and it's definitely not something that bothers me too much. I'm definitely still going to wear this bikini especially because I love this print. I love the print, I love the colors and I kind of really love the quality of it. However, I do feel like it is ever so slightly too large on me. I would say this swimsuit is definitely more for people who don't like to flush too much of your body. If you feel more comfortable being more covered, if you don't like to flush your belly, if you don't like to flush your chest, this is probably your better option. I don't like it as much as the previous two, personally. And then lastly for swimwear, we have the same swimsuit as the first one that I showed you, but in a different color. So we can see if the quality is the same and the sizing is the same when it comes to different colors. So this is again a crochet bikini, but this one is black and white. So we have a very nice contrast here. We have a black bikini and a white crochet. It's basically the exactly same bikini as the first one. I just chose a different color. This looks slightly creased. So again, I would probably iron this before wearing it out. It has a blooming jelly on the tag, just like every other bikini. So yeah, let me try it on and see how it looks. This is just as nice as the blue and white bikini. Again, same quality, same sizing. I still think I would prefer this to be tighter, I would prefer it to be a bit smaller, but it's nothing all that major. I think it's fine, especially because you can adjust it, adjust the straps. If I want to make it more of a push-up style, I can always change the padding into something even bigger and more defined. And lastly, we have a top, just because I also wanted to try at least one clothing item to see the quality of that as well so I can let you know. So this is the last item that I got from Blooming Jelly. Again I can see a little tag that says Blooming Jelly on it. That's really cute. I don't know if my camera will be able to pick it up. Oh this is large. Why is this so large? This is in the size small. So this is a lot bigger than I thought. This is definitely oversized and I think this is the smallest size that they have. At least when I ordered on the website, this was the smallest size available. So these are oversized, has a lace cut on the shoulders, long sleeves and some tie bits. As you can make these sleeves tighter with a little bands. We have some frills here and some lace. As you can see, I mean, it will be a lot easier for me to put it on and show it to you guys. I just thought this would be perfect for like any formal events, any fancy events. This seemed like a perfect top that you could wear for work, if you work at an office, or this could be something you'd wear to a party. I feel like this might be a mermaid piece in this hole. I absolutely love the shoulder lace detail. I think it looks very sexy, very unique. But I don't really necessarily love the shape of this blouse all that much. I mean, I like it a lot more when it's tucked in. I think if this was smaller, I would probably love this and be obsessed with it. But because it's too large on me, when it's not tucked in, I don't like it at the back at all. But when I tuck it in, I actually think it looks quite nice and it's perfect for any more formal events. And I definitely don't have many blouses and it's always good to have a nice blouse. I love the color, I love burgundy, but I just don't like the fact that this is too large on me. But yeah, that's the last item in this haul. And that would be it for my Blooming Jelly haul review and try on. A lot of Asian retailers can be affordable but the quality of the items is not always that great. Whereas when it comes to the quality of these items, I don't have many bad things to say about the quality of these items. These could definitely be found at the local high street shop. The quality doesn't feel like a cheap Asian retailer. 
I'm very, very impressed with that Blooming Jelly website. My experience with Blooming Jelly has been very great so far. They sent me an email, they were very nice, they wanted a real review, they didn't want a nice review. So my experience with Blooming Jelly has been amazing so far. One thing to note, the delivery for this item took about 10 days. I'm not sure if they have different delivery options, but because these came to me from Asia, it took 10 days for them to arrive, which is kind of an average. I feel like sometimes with Asian deliveries, they take even way longer than 10 days. So I don't think it's anything too bad, but it is something that I wanted to let you guys know that you're not going to receive these items the next day just because they're coming from Asia. But other than that, I am very, very pleasantly surprised with Blooming Jelly. But that will be the end for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, please like it and subscribe to me if you're not already. And that was my next one. Bye!